I wonder what it is up today with the gremlins. They're being too naughty. Now we've managed to find one of also one of the naughtiest creatures. Tiny ones, but very, <laughs> very active. Of course, a dwarf mongoose, and they are one of my ultimate favorites. They're just so sweet and tiny and full of nonsense. Why are you coming? Now, when we initially arrived to this spot, there was only one on the road, and we've... <laughs> you are a very big... Well, actually, yes, you are a very big and old dwarf mongoose. Doesn't it have, like, that authority look to it? <laughs> I think it does. I wonder, are you pregnant or are you fat? It's hard to tell. Oh my goodness. It's approaching us. Dun, dun, dun. Some yoga and some grooming going on today. So like I said, we first arrived here and there were just about two of them running around the road. And we've been patiently waiting and more and more and more of them have been coming out, which is pretty amazing. Because now I think in total we've seen more than 15 of them, which is great. Oh, look at the tiny ones. They're all coming to play now. <laughs> all grooming each other. Get those ticks. Get those fleas. Very important the social grooming for all the for all these type of species. Is not only will they it will it help the process in getting rid of parasites, but also is a very good way of maintaining social bonds. Oh look at that. A pile of mongoose. Guys, honestly, I think you need to, to groom a little bit more. But it is funny because we've been able to see that a lot of them have scratches and old scars so often we don't see them but it's proof that also the older ones and then it's hard being a mongoose out here can you imagine there are so many things that we don't get to see perhaps like servos and caracals and uh, wildcats that will go after them that perhaps are the ones that tried getting them and i've seen more than on more than one occasion leopard cubs hunting mongoose and of course we have the birds of prey so look at all these cars good proof that they've survived and sometimes well of course walking in the areas that they walk in when they have to run to take cover to run away for potential predators i'm sure there's a thorn or two that gets in the way snazzy you're wondering if they are friendly well i think they are quite friendly they tend to be uh, very very interesting creatures and they're very friendly towards one another so if they are exposed to humans they are often quite amicable um, sometimes they get, can get naughty especially the banded mongoose that are about maybe two three times the size of the dwarf mongoose because they start stealing things from you but they are quite cool little creatures look at all of them being so brave now there's a fallen off tree that we're looking at. It's an old nut thorn. So I wonder if maybe they're actually spending the night in between the crevices and the ground that's been lifted by this nut thorn falling over. It would make a good place for them. Perhaps there's another place that they're going to be headed into because now the sun's starting to set so they're not going to be spending too much time outside. I'm sure they're making their way home just indulging in the last rays of sunshine before they take cover for the night. They are not nocturnal creatures. They will spend the night inside of a of a hole or, or their den rather. It's hard to choose where to look. There are so many of them doing something. <laughs> look at those tiny ears. You guys are looking quite well and we were discussing winter coats earlier and I'm sure you can see that they're still looking quite fluffy all of them. So their winter coats are still on and as summer starts coming along and when it gets a lot, yeah, probably double the temperature of what we have now then this their fur is going to become a lot uh, thinner or their hair is going to become a lot thinner because can you imagine having to carry around that big fur coat all around Whew, would be too much. Bumbo girl, you're wondering if they're ever kept as pets or as ferrets. Um, I'm sure some people do have them. I think wild is probably <laughs> the best way to, to have them. I don't know if they make great pets. I, I would assume that they could. People that have hand-raised uh, mongoose, and I also helped hand-raise, but it was a banded mongoose. 
but they, it's hard because um, they they imprint on humans quite a bit, and then they they don't really know how to stay away from certain poisonous species of tree, and then they might eat the wrong thing, and then of course, if they're used to humans, and they will always come close to humans because they've learned that natural fear. So it's very hard reintroducing them back into the wild, or it can be quite difficult. It's also they're gregarious creatures. And they have social bonds, so they wouldn't want to just be cast off into the bush one day. There are so many of them all around. They're all busy. And they're all still digging in certain areas for food, grooming each other, jumping around. Look at that. David, you're wondering if they would hunt larger prey in groups. Well, not really. Uh, they will... I think the biggest thing that they might get at this point in time is something like a scorpion or perhaps a snake. Um, but uh, if it's something bigger like a snake, they can all sort of mob it and try to gang up on it and kill it. But they don't go hunting in groups or they don't hunt in groups as a general rule. Normally, they will start foraging and digging for food. And if they can find anything as they move along, then that's what they're going to get. I wouldn't be surprised if there's also some competition if somebody finds a juicy insect that somebody else would also try and, and get it. I wonder if this is not the alpha pair actually. It seems like it's the two biggest one that we've seen around. The one with the scar definitely. The other one I'm not too sure. Hmm, beautiful. Right, I'm going to see if we can spend some more time with those mongoose, but while I do that, let's go over to Taylor, who has finally arrived at Chitua Dam. Hopefully there will be something there. <laughs> 